Hi, my name is Robbie Bobby, and today I'm going to show you how to mount a custom die cast to a custom base. In order to do this, you're going to need to get some 24 gauge galvanized steel wire. You can find this at Home Depot, Walmart, anywhere in the hardware section. They should have a selection of wire. You're going to need some packing tape, needle nose pliers. Now I cut eight to 10 inches of the wire and I do three of them. One for the front axles, one for the back axles, and one for the front and back axles. Here's my custom base. You should be able to get an acrylic base or some sort of base. You could even make one or you could hit up House of 164 and he'll take care of you. But you get a base and you drill six holes, three on each end of the car. So you kind of. line it up and then after that take your wire and you're gonna bend make little hooks like that Do one on each side, and then after you make that hook, you're gonna bend it back just a little bit, like this. All right, so you do that on each side, and then you repeat on. After you got all three of them done, then you'll take your car and you'll hook into the front wheel and wrap around. All right. Hold the wire there. Take your needle nose. Take the wire and pull it through. Maybe a little over a third of the way. And you're gonna take your other hook and you're gonna wrap it around here. Hook it back into the opposite axle. Pull that through. Right, go ahead and pull it tight on both sides. After you pull it tight, I like to push down the wire in the middle because it's kind of poking out a little bit. And then you straighten the wire up. It'll look like that. All right, repeat that for the rear. All right, this is the last wire. We're gonna loop it from the front one side to the back opposite.
Okay, after you get all the wires in, straighten them all up. And kind of guesstimate how they're gonna fall to the hole. All right, you wanna go ahead and cut those hooks you made off. You're gonna mount the car to the base, guide the wires through the hole. Line up the car on the base. Try to make it as straight as you can. All right. Push the car down to the base. Now I want to start tightening up the wires. Just twist the front end a couple of times and then we'll go to the, the back end twist that a couple of times so just to get it secure and then we're gonna make sure that's straight still where we want it and take your needle nose and pull the wire on both sides, both sides of the axle, both wires. Pull it till it's tight. And then twist the front two until and twist the front axle until you don't have any more twists. off the excess and then take your needle nose and grab the base and twist it around and then repeat for the rear end front and the back are secured so it should look like that after you're done and then I just lay them over and then this third wire is more of a safety wire just in case the first or second break the front or the back axle brake. So this third wire is just a safety wire. So I don't tighten it as tight as I do the front or the rear axle. So I'll just hand tighten this. Cut off the excess. All right, there you go. Mount on. So uh, one last thing I like to do is cover up that wire with a little bit of packing tape. Finish it off, give it that professional look. And there we go. That's how you mount die cast to a base. Then it's got an acrylic cover.
I'll snap it on and ship it out. Thanks, everybody.